Hello, we're going to look at how to do binary multiplication in this video. Make sure you are able to do binary addition before we begin because we need it in this process. Do some practice and make sure you've understood the carry rules for addition in binary, of course. So first of all, before we begin, let's do an example of how we can do deanery multiplication, so in decimal, using what you might, you might have described as the column method. Also, I always had it taught to me as long multiplication, where we arrange our numbers in a sort of table structure. So we'll do this example 225 multiplied by 161 using this method. So um, first of all we'll do 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 times 2 is 2 as well. But now we're moving on to our next digit, the 6 digit here under the tens column. We need to add a 0 or shift across. So we can leave it blank here if we want to. I always write in a 0 so I don't forget. So do 6 times 5 is 30. So I write down a zero and carry our three into our next column. We now, where are we on to? The noun six times two is 12. So we write, so we want 12 plus three here, which is 15. So I write down a five, carry over one, and now I do six times two is 12, plus one is 13, and I carry that one across. And I always will cross out my carries, or when I remember to at least, so I don't add them uh, in a minute. Right now we move on to our third digit on the left here, so we're doing two shifts across. And we can start off in the hundreds column. So 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now we can add up these numbers. So these are called partial results, and it's why I mentioned you must understand binary addition before binary multiplication, because now we're going to add up. So here 5 plus 0 is so just 5, plus 2, plus here we've got 10, plus 12, carrier 1, and now we've got 3 plus 2, plus 1 is 6 and we've got 1 plus 2 is 3. So the answer should be 36,225. But uh, that is a process we're going to work through with just binary numbers in this case. And because we are doing it in binary numbers, just zeros and ones, it's actually much, much easier than deanery. But I wanted to show you deanery as a recap just in case you uh, had forgot that method because it's easy to forget. Um, so really, we're just doing multiple additions. That's also why it's easier. So in a computer, all it's doing is actually just doing multiple additions and uh, that's really how it's been calculated. Also shifting too. So let's do an example in binary this time. We're doing the same number here, which is six times six. So we should be getting 36 in binary. Let's see what the result will be. So we're gonna line up in our table as usual. 110 and 110 again. Make sure we're clear we are multiplying. So first of all, we do zero times zero is zero, which is why it's really easy because we're just doing <laughs> like zero times one here is also zero and again. So really our rules are going to be one times zero is zero, zero times one is of course zero, and one times one is one. Those are our rules, so even easier than binary addition, uh, that, that's all we're doing for multiplication. Right now I'm moving on to the next one, so I shift across by adding a zero, and now I can do one times zero is zero, one times one is one, and one times one is one. Now my third digit, so I add two zeros, shifting two across, I now do one times zero is zero, one times one is one, and one times one is one. Super easy. And now, all I'm doing is just adding up these partial results using binary addition. So we've got all zeros down here, all zeros here, a one here. One plus one is zero carrier one. And so hopefully you remember, and again one plus one here is zero carrier one. So our answer should be um, this down here, one zero zero one zero zero which we can check quite quickly because this is our fours column and this is our 32's column, 32 plus four is 36. So you can always check your answers very quickly just by converting back to decimal. And let's do another example of this. So I've run out of space, I'll just wipe it. So we're doing one, zero, zero, one, zero, and then one, zero, one. Make sure we're lining it up properly. So if they're not the same length, make sure we're always filling it up from the right hand side, our least significant bit end. So now we do the same process again, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, and one times one is one. Being really careful we're still lining up. And now I add a zero over here, I'm shifting left by one. Zero times zero is zero, zero times one is zero, and all of these are gonna be zero because our first number is zero, so we can fill out all of these if we particularly want to, otherwise we can just leave it. And now let's do two shifts across, add in two zeros, and now one times zero is zero, one times one is one, and I have two zeros here and one one at the end. And that's us, so that was even quicker than I thought. Now we just add up our partial results. 
with zeros at the end, one over here, zero, one, one, zero, one. Super easy. So this number over here is 18, this number is five, and so 18 times five should equal 90, right? So we can test it. So we've got 64 here, 16 here, eight here, and two here, which should add up to 90. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and we'll do a final example. I'd really encourage you to practice this yourself. And it's really easy because you don't need to find questions. You can just make up numbers yourself and then practice converting afterwards. So here we've got four ones. Okay, have I added enough digits there? Yeah, it looks like it. So first of all, one times zero is zero. One times one is one. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. And we've got two other ones at the end. I'm losing my order a little bit. That's my biggest uh, weakness, is losing my uh, place value. So now I'll add a zero from the left, from the uh, right. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. We've got two more as well. Now I add in two zeros from the right. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. One times zero is zero. And then again, we've got those three ones at the end. Now let's do, um, we need to add in three zeros from the right because we're on our fourth column over here. Uh, one times zero is zero. One times one is one. Zero, one, one, one. You can notice we're just shifting across here, right? So it's the same values, just of uh, zeros towards the end. Uh, so this becomes a little bit trickier to add up now, only marginally because we've probably got quite a few carries here. So first couple of columns are easy. Very easy, and now we've got one plus one is zero, carrier one, let's do one down here. Now I've got one plus one plus one plus one. So four ones, which we can really sort of collapse into two zeros, carry two ones, or equivalent, we can we cut down a zero here and carry into two columns across, because it's four, four in binary would be one, zero, zero. We can just skip, to, uh, another, we can skip a column when we carry it, so my carry is now down here. I can do this one, so three ones in a row is a one, carry a one. So now I've got two carries under here. We've got one plus one plus one plus two. So um, we've got five in binary. So we're gonna write down a one, and again, carry two columns across, because five in binary is one, zero, one. So I've got a one down here, and now one plus one is zero, carry a one. So now I've got three ones in this one column. I haven't done that very neatly in one column. And we do a one and we carry a one across. So that was a little bit harder, a little bit messier. Hopefully you could follow that. If not, try it yourself. Um, but always be thinking about what the actual number you're representing it is. We can always skip columns if we if it's beyond two. Uh, so let's write this up properly because that's a bit not that's not very neat. One one zero one one zero zero one one zero. So this number is 15, and this number is a little bit tricky to figure out. Uh, it's going to be 58, and so the result should be should be 580 plus 290, which is 870. Let's try this. So that was a bit beyond me doing it in my head, but 512 plus 256 plus 64 plus 32 plus 4 plus 2 is 870 as I just had to do on paper. So uh, we can uncheck it, even that one's a little bit harder to do. So as I say, not a hard process once you get your head around exactly what you are doing. It's following the same pattern as long, long multiplication in deanery, except we're doing it in binary, and it makes it a bit simpler. But make sure the addition is still kept as organized as possible. The biggest mistake will be messing up your place value or not being able to do the carrying properly for addition. So it's really important you can do addition really well. Uh, set yourself some examples to practice this to make sure you can do it with loads of different numbers.